Okay, this is part two of the track vehicle construction and I'm going to be continuing on the frame construction part of this series and we left off with the main structural part of the frame completed I'm just now checking to make sure everything is square I, um, I was a little worried that maybe I could pull some of the stuff out of out of alignment when I was welded it up but uh, everything stayed nice and and square and I didn't have any uh, major problems with anything so it turned out great this is what I'm going to use for the floor this is a uh, wire mesh I sort of like the design I was able to pick a few different ones and this is the design I picked and I just cut out the the main part of the floor and then put it in a position and lay out the, the holes that I need to cut. I need to cut uh, the first part is so that I can slide into position up front here. So this main front support, I'm going to notch this out. And then once I notch this piece out, I'll be able to cut the, the hole where the engine drops down and, and allows me to have access to the oil pan and and also the engine drops down just a little bit below the the bottom of the floor anyway so it gives me a little bit of extra space I think I may have to come back and put in a extra support uh, where your feet go but um, I'm gonna cut out these holes and weld it in place and then try it and see uh, see how it works so now I slide into position I got the front notch cut out and now I can mark the the hole in the back here and cut it out and cut that out so now it's cut out all I have to do is welded in place. Okay, the tops of the shock holders, I welded caps on those and now it's time to work on the actual main supports for the suspension. And what I've done is because I'm using on the suspension, I'm actually using the same width tubing, one inch tubing, and to allow for some space for washers I've actually put in a three millimeter piece of steel behind this six millimeter piece of steel and that's going to give me enough space that I can put washers on each side of the one inch um, suspension parts and so that's that's what I was showing you there I had to notch out the steel arm that comes down on the back on the back side of this so that's what I'm doing now is is cutting the slots into this and this piece here and then that's going to go up as you can see behind and directly across from the the first support now what I did to make the holes straight was I clamped them together on the front drilled the holes through the front and then that gave me the the holes exactly in the right position then what I've done is I've taken a bolt with some spacers in it and then I bolt the other piece on there and then that's what ensures that the holes are perfectly lined up so then I just bolt the other side on tighten it up and then I'm able to to come back on top and, and weld that in position and the holes are perfectly aligned. Okay, I got the front and the back main suspension supports welded in place and now I just have to clean it all up and, and get it ready to for painting. Now I'm installing the supports for the fuel tank and I just use three-quarter inch pipe and 
welded those pieces into position and then used some a rubber uh, they actually go on the end of a uh, or like on a three-quarter inch tube for I don't know walker or, or whatever but the, it fits on there perfectly and I measured that welded those in place and then once I got the fuel tank set onto that position I drill out holes in the back here and that's where my mounting bolts in the back are going to go Okay, I'm sacrificing my son's old bicycle and using the steering off of it for this vehicle. Uh, I'm going to end up using some other parts off this bicycle so it's not going to totally go to waste. But I, um, I welded that onto the front and in a later video I'll show you what my plans are on, on how to make this thing steer. Well for now the frame is ready and in the next video to come I'll be showing you the preparations for painting so thanks for watching